are going to be talking about the gizmo. This video has been made on the request of some of my colleagues who need help navigating the Explore Learning Gizmo's website. Oh la la! I am excited using Screencastify to make a video for the first time. Woo! This tutorial is exclusively for teachers. A student version is available in our YouTube channel in a separate video. What is the Gizmos as it relates to education? dot com log in or enroll with a class code or sign up for free log in Select a class. If you do not have any existing classes, you would have to create one. Let's go to my ninth grade biology class. You will see the selected class here. The class code here. This is the code you will share with your students to join your class just like you would in Google Classroom. The remaining classes will all be here. You can switch between classes as you want by clicking a particular tab. Click here to find a gizmos. You have three options by academic standard, by grade level or by book title. Grade 9, Growing Plants. A number of gizmos related to growing plants pop up. Select one of them and add it to a class. You have the option to add to a particular class or to all your classes in one click. I am adding this to my 9th grade biology class. In the bottom left corner, I will see that it has been successfully added to the class. Go back to the class and locate the gizmos that you have just added. It is advisable to have the most current gizmos on top of the list. If the gizmos you just added is not on top of the list, look for it and drag it all the way to the top. That will make it easy for your students to locate the current gizmos when they visit the website. Leave a particular gizmos on top of the list until all assignments associated with it has been completed. Click on the lesson info to access materials such as worksheets. Here you will find the student worksheet, the answer sheet, the teacher guide, and the vocabulary list. The teacher guide and 
The answer key is only accessible to teachers. Students can only access the worksheet and the vocabulary sheet with their ID. All these lesson materials are downloadable and also within them you can copy sections as you please and paste them wherever you want them to go. This is the student worksheet. To download it, you will click here. You also have the option to copy the entire worksheet or sections of the worksheet and paste it in a new Google Docs from where you can then edit as you please then share it or upload it into your Google Classroom back to the gizmos launch your gizmos and mess around with it as much as you can so that you understand how it works before engaging your students each gizmos comes with instructions according to this instruction you have to begin this gizmos by dragging fertilizer and compost into the plant pot and adding seeds to them. Drag and drop compost. Drag and drop compost again in another part. Drag and drop seed in the part, drag and drop seed in another part, drag and drop seed in another. Your goal in this experiment is to see how plants will perform under different environmental conditions. Provide different amounts of water. Provide less light here. Total darkness here. And much better lighting conditions in the last medium. Now watch the performance of your plants. The seeds have germinated and your seedlings are growing at different rates based on the environmental conditions you provided. Notice also that your data is being generated automatically in the background in context of how plant height and mass are changing as the days go by. You can switch between your experimental tab and your data tab and you can even export your data to a spreadsheet. Watch how this is happening. Your data is being processed and has just been exported into this spreadsheet where you can then share with whoever you want to and in whatever manner that you chose. You can also perform additional analysis here in the spreadsheet. Back here, you can select between line graphs and bar graphs as you please. You can also select between plan height and plan mass. You can play around this data as much as you want to understand it to the best way you can. And from here, you can also share your data with whoever you want in whatever format that you please. Inside this toolbox, you also have additional possibilities. You can even perform screenshots from the toolbox. This data shows how your plants performed on different days throughout the growth cycle of the plant. As you can see, this platform is totally research-based 
inquiry based and exploratory in this toolbox you can drag an arrow and use it during your discussions it is just amazing what one can accomplish from this virtual platform this is a place where you have an opportunity to play around with stuff and discover a lot on your own there are lots of things here i do not yet fully understand myself here i am exploring discovering and learning along with my students progressively after you are done experimenting and your data analysis is completed go down and take the assessment short answer multiple choice questions back into the toolbox volume adjuster some gizmos come with interactive videos and here is where you will adjust the volume of your video if you have questions concerns or doubts click this question mark button and get help share your data your discoveries with your peers and provide each other constructive feedback the assessment questions are straightforward and attainable after a diligent analysis of your data make sure you read each question attentively and reflect twice before selecting your answer choice check your performance and retrieve your scores which will be displayed on the screen locate the share button and celebrate your accomplishment now i can gladly share my scores with my peers or my mentor via email facebook or twitter if i am not happy with my scores i can refresh the screen perform the experiment all over retake the assessment over and over until i attain a satisfying score students should note that aside of the activity assigned by your teacher you have the flexibility after completing the work provided by your teacher to engage in your own independent exploration in this platform to do that you do not have to be inside a class you can just go to the home page once in the home page you can engage in your own expedition your own independent research and explore to discover new things for yourself to do that you need to click on this button find a gizmos you can either find it by academic standard or by your grade level or by a textbook title let's find it by grade level type in your grade level 12 grade and type in the topic you are interested in for example digestion click search a number of gizmos appropriate for 12th grade related to digestion pops up click on one of them click on the lesson info to have an introduction into what the gizmos is all about once you have an introduction to the gizmos proceed to launch the gizmos the gizmos on digestion i have just launched has not been assigned to me by my teacher i just want to do my own independent thing i just want to play around and see how this works the gizmos comes with instructions so i will read the instructions and i will engage in my expedition this is digestion let's drag and drop structure and function of the digestive system after the mouth what comes next you're gonna play around with this getting to know the digestive system better this is a great experiment to familiarize you with how the digestive system works first you have to construct the digestive system then place food in the mouth and watch what happens as the food progresses in the system what about the stomach the stomach is important you forgot to place the stomach somewhere so find it let me see if we can move this all about teamwork can't leave out any part I move this team work and place the stomach here this is a typical example of how engineering and technology 
can be integrated into a science classroom. It is fun as though you are just playing, but in fact you are learning in a more practical and hands-on way. Building skills in engineering, technology, art, math and science all in one package. Now let's place a uh, food hamburger in the mouth and see what happens. What do you prefer? This is a hamburger. Like it? Let's see here. Food goes in the mouth. And click play. Throwing food in the mouth. That is the process of chewing in your mouth and swallowing. Peristasis in action. Get crushed. That is how food is processed, the pathway of food being processed in your system. Peristasis pushes the food down your esophagus into your stomach. Muscles of your stomach mix up the food. The food is going through the small intestines. Glands in your stomach lining make stomach acid and enzymes that break down food. Muscles of your stomach mix the food with these digestive juices. All the major parts of the digestive system are represented in this model. Salivary glands, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, etc. Lokita, please don't do it. And finally, the waste is about to be released. Bathroom. There it goes. <laughs> Call the cop. <laughs> That's funny. Is that your bathroom? But I just remember that I forgot something. Incomplete digestive system. But John, I left out certain parts. This part was left out. Looks like I have to do this all over. But I don't mind because I am having fun. How can I leave out all the essential organs? The liver. I added food. The solid organs of the digestive system. But I haven't got to the level of the analysis yet. Gold bladder. So? Pancreas. I would go back and refresh my screen and start all over. Now this is what we mean by exploring in the high order of the word exploring. Learning by mistakes, trial and error, taking it all over, trying many times and eventually accomplishing our purpose. Asking questions, discovering answers, designing your own learning experience. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you like this video, then consider clicking the subscribe button so that you can be updated whenever we upload another amazing content. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you very soon. Go!